For many small business owners, the past two years, almost two years, have been pretty tough. And in Erie, a lot of businesses are continuing to rebound from the pandemic that we're still in tonight. Erie News Now, Jamison Hicksonbaugh is here with us. Jamison, you talked to two female-owned business owners to find out their plans for the year ahead and how they continue to surge on. And did even from inflation to supply chain shortages and lack of workers, there have been many obstacles for businesses to overcome. As 2022 approaches, local business owners I spoke with are entering the new year with a sense of optimism. And I started my own business. Since 2013, Susan Marshall has enjoyed selling high-end olive oil and balsamic vinegar at her store, The Lavender Rabbit. It was so well received that we've grown steadily ever since. But over the past two years, the pandemic has created several challenges for the Village West business. When COVID raised its ugly head, we closed for about six, maybe seven weeks early on until we could wrap our head around how to compensate. It's been really busy, thank goodness. For Lully and Company owner Sarah Kim, the pandemic forced her to change her entire business model. We had to do it because COVID. We changed from a face-to-face -face business. We changed into an online business. We changed into a delivery service. With COVID still running rampant, both Kim and Marshall say they have learned to adapt. If there was one good that came from it for us, that was it. We were able to adapt and we learned to it. While 2020 was difficult, both business owners say 2021 proved to be a success. It's been great. We have women that call us from like Colorado. The pandemic didn't really hinder um, our business, which is shocking. It actually grew it because we were able to develop our brand. 2021 has been our best year yet. Success made possible through community support. Every week we get new customers and that's exciting. So I hope we can continue to serve everybody. We're just really grateful for all the support we've received uh, from women, from men, from everybody in the community. We appreciate it so much and we're so excited to continue to grow. And Kim says her business has done so well that she plans to open a new men's clothing shop in the Colony Plaza called Peter James by mid-February. For the Economic Hardship Reporting Project, Jamison Hicksonbaugh, Erie News Now.